My name is Claudia, I'm 24 years old and I'm from Perth, Western Australia. I always get excited when I see red tail black cockatoos. You can hear them before you see them really. My name's Alan, I've lived in Perth most of my life. My favourite Australian animal is the northern spiny-tailed gecko. It's got different coloured spines on its tail and around its eyebrows and its eyes are the colour of pearl. My name is Robert, I'm 20 years old and now I'm living here in Perth. My favourite native Australian animal would probably have to be the fawny devil, an Australian icon and it's hard to beat them. I first learned about AWC through university. They offer such valuable experience in these amazing locations across Australia. I started following their socials, having a look at the internships and volunteer work. The first time that I volunteered with AWC was when I was 18 years old, up at Peruna Sanctuary in the Perth Hills, surveying for mammals, reptiles, amphibians, some bird surveys as well. The process of becoming a volunteer is very simple. You go onto the AWC website and there are all sorts of prompts. You can attach your resume so they can see what experiences you've had. You can check what your preferences are and then AWC come back with various proposals that you might be interested in. The motivation behind becoming an AWC volunteer would have to be loving Australia's wildlife. We're concerned about climate change and the degradation of the wildlife. Rather than just sit behind a desk and watch all these mammals and reptiles become extinct. We wanted to get out there and do something. My wife Deb and I, we sort of wanted to test the water if you like and we were really impressed with the way AWC went about their work. They were looking for some volunteers to go out to the Kimberley. Intrinsically it felt like something that I needed to do. I did a week at Mornington helping with weeding and general maintenance around the sanctuary. We did some local work and then we were offered this position up in Charnley and jumped at it. My main volunteer work was at Charnley River doing all the fauna surveys and vegetation surveys. We were surrounded by AWC employees and probably the most vibrant bird life I've seen. Watching everyone talk about the birds and being able to identify them, I was like, wow, I really want to do that too. There were 15 people in three cars that were going to head off before dawn and everyone pitched in and loaded the cars with tents and sleeping bags and food and water and it was very much a team environment. There was other volunteers there with different range of skills. I could work alongside field ecologists and the wildlife ecologists being able to learn off them and see their experience. Just having that good team environment where you can all learn off each other and support each other. It really does inspire you. It was surprisingly hard work up before dawn, back after sunset, steaming hot weather and lots of digging. But the ecologists were really good. They showed us how to do it. They helped us to do it, supported us when we started looking tired. It was really good to be in the company of other people and sharing the same moments, same experiences. When we started catching animals, everyone celebrated every catch because we'd all participated in the construction of every trap. It's very exciting when you look at the pitfall traps or the cage traps and there's a little critter inside and then you get to ID it and measure it and that whole process is really exciting because you don't know what you're going to get. One of the days we were doing field work, it was just going sunset and I checked the last funnel trap and I lifted up and see the scales of a two metre eastern brown snake. That was probably a highlight for me because seeing a two metre eastern brown snake in the Kimberley isn't something you get to see every day. But with experts around, you're able to do amazing things like that. The most rewarding part of the AWC experience is to be part of a larger effort to build up a profile of the ecology. You do all that work, all that trapping, all that species identification and getting all that footage, all of that data will be put all together and looked at over the years. You multiply that over decades and you will build up quite a significant trend in how fauna and flora are being affected by the climate and whatever else might be affecting it. When it comes to the crunch, that data will be really important for what we think it will be important for, but also maybe important for other reasons that we haven't even become aware of yet. Being a volunteer re-sparked really my passion for conservation. If you're feeling quite unsure with where your career is heading or if you're not too sure if it's something you still want to do, this will definitely remind you why you chose this in the first place. It doesn't matter what background you have, whether you're a research student or coming from a sciencey background, uh, anyone can apply and go for it. Anyone thinking of 
becoming an AWC volunteer should just do it. <laughs>